Hi, my name is Len David Hart, and I'm here, um, I'm installing this newel post here. Uh, earlier, another video, I showed that I put a piece of all thread. I got like a 38-inch piece of all thread, 16 in here and 18 in the ground in this concrete slab here. And uh, this is going to be a newel post for some uh, handrails and some balustrade, I guess you'd call it. It's going to come from there to there, here to here. And then it's, this is going to get a, a white vinyl sleeve, and then it's going to get the uh, the the diagonal rails that's going to go on there, handrails. Uh, I just wanted to make this video and uh, just point out some things I did here. Other than make the hole, and I drilled the uh, all thread in, and it goes into the ground. Also, something else I did, I got this old carpenter clamp here, holding a piece of wood to hold my uh, post plumb this way. And another thing I wanted to point out was how to screw up a, a four-foot level. And you can screw up a, a, a two-foot level the same way. This level here, I got a little hole drilled in it, and I, and I put a little screw in there. And then on this four-footer, I got a little screw in here. That's hands-free. When you're working by yourself, this is a little handy. Then on this strut here, I drilled a hole into this expansion joint or control joint. Drilled a hole with a 3 16th um, masonry bit, and then I put a wooden plug in there and I stuck this screw in there. When I'm done, I pull it out, and no one will ever see I've used that concrete for a stabilizer. So that's just some of the things. I got some hydraulic cement in there now, getting this thing, uh, you know, ready ready for its sleeve and for the um, the vinyl rail. All right, my name is Len David Hart. Until the next video, I appreciate your st stopping around, and uh, have a good day.